Welcome to Dynamic Auto Painter 7. Today's video is about brush sizes. Today we'll go over the interactive brush controls found on the Painter tab. You're probably aware that the brushes will get smaller as the painting progresses. You may have seen the needle on the red dial, just below the brushes, slowly moving to the right. That's the brush size control. It is in automatic mode when it is red. When you turn it during the painting process, it turns gray, indicating that it is in manual mode. Let's stop the painting. We will focus on the brush strokes section in the painter tab. These two numbers represent the minimum and maximum brush sizes that will be used. When this lock is on, changing the brush size control will change both the minimum and maximum sizes simultaneously. If it is turned off, only the maximum brush size will change. So, why do we need a minimum and maximum brush size? During the painting, the painter selects the brush sizes that best suit the scene and the minimum and maximum values limit that selection. Now, let's look at this button next to the lock. This is where the size change during painting happens. When you click on it, you will see that it is a graph. The graph can be used in two modes, absolute and relative. In absolute mode, the graph is dependent on the number of brush strokes. In relative mode, Regardless of the number of strokes set, the graph spans the underpaint and detail cycles. The absolute mode exists for legacy reasons, as some older versions only use that mode. Because the number of strokes varies with the painting size, the relative mode is now highly recommended. So, let's summarize. The graph shows how the brushes change during the painting within the already mentioned minimum and maximum values. As you can see, they can go above 100%, effectively increasing the maximum value. Let us now discuss the number of brush strokes. This is a relative number that indicates how long the underpaint cycle will last. The actual number of strokes in the underpaint cycle is a combination of this number and the time gauge for detail brushes. Simply put, the higher the number, the longer the underpaint cycle. The detail cycle has its own setting, which is accessible only from the template editor. The last button that affects brush sizes is the Smart Brush Size, which was added in version 7. When you click on it, it will alternate between this and a dice icon. We've already talked about how the painter chooses the brush size between minimum and maximum values, which also gets smaller with the time. That is exactly what the dice icon will do. In version 7, we added a content-aware smart brush size that will affect the brushes even more, depending on the complexity of the area being painted. If the painter is working on a complex area, the smaller brushes in the range will be preferred. That's basically all there is to know about brush sizes. Don't forget to sign up for our newsletter to be the first to hear about new products, updates, or tutorials. Stay creative and see you soon.